right, what's up guys? I am on my way to my, to a dermatology appointment. Um, since it's winter, I don't get any microdermabrasion or any skin resurfacing stuff during the summertime because I'm out in the sun a lot and I know that that getting treatments then on your skin, um, like acid washes and stuff, it's not good to go out into the sun after you've had that. So we are currently um, going from fall to winter and it's a lot chillier outside. I'm not outside as much. So I am going to my dermatologist um, and she is going to do some face things. Um, I love the girl that I've been seeing from Coastal Dermatology, her name is Stephanie. And she's, she's awesome. She's definitely a badass. So I trust, uh, I trust her recommendations to me. Um, she's been doing this for so long, so she's definitely an expert in her field. And, um, so I'm excited to see her. We decided to do microneedling. Why am I a good candidate for microneedling? It helps with the texture. It's basically resurfacing your skin just in baby steps. Uh huh. Um, so Cause I think last year I had three of these done. Mm -hmm. Usually, and then I came every once it? a month. Once a month, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see a huge difference in my skin. I even got compliments. I'm like, wow, your skin just looks. It makes it very radiant. I think it just it just revamps the skin, and it's like doing a really aggressive procedure just in baby steps so you have, don't have all that downtime. Instead of having 30 days downtime, you just have one day downtime. Mm -hmm. so. That's why I think microneedling right now though yeah. will be the quickest uh -huh. fix to kind of get you looking good for the holiday. So. Nice. Except the next three days. <laughs> is, it the like, next, is it like the next, how many yeah. days does it take? One day, right. really, and one day you can put makeup on. So for 24 hours you can, but after the 24 hours you can go back to all your normal stuff. But like for me, I'd say it took me three to four days, mm -hmm. but really a week later, I thought my skin looked kind of fabulous. Peel. Mm -hmm. Kind of flakes up. Everybody's is different. Some people peel a lot. Some people don't peel at all. Mm -hmm. Just The first time that you did my mm -hmm. first peel, mm -hmm. it peels a lot. Are you putting a numbing, numbing cream? on right? Mm -hmm. Lord, you know we want to put that on for this one. That would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> And so microneedling, is it just like a bunch of little needles? Mm -hmm. Yep. Kind of drill a whole bunch into the skin, but they're very tiny. Mm -hmm. Can't really see them. Do you remember when I sent you a picture? Mm -hmm. Were you here or were you out of town? I was out of town. Yeah. Sent you a picture of my. Does she look a little scary when she said? Yeah, <laughs> he was like, "What happened?" <laughs> <laughs> so, like we won't do any extractions or anything. Right. Um, I'm hoping like when you do the microneedling, it's it, just going to kind of break all that. I don't really, I didn't see a ton of blackheads or anything on your skin. You got a little bit of clogging over yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. So when we're done, um, it's probably I'll probably go back like sweating there, there yeah. a lot. Just, but I don't notice it here. I just notice it more so mm. over there. Yeah, you just sweat on the left side by a bit, not your right side. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all, we're going to let that I'm gonna go grab an extractor. Cool. Let's go over that real quick. So Latisse. I love the blue serum. Uh-huh. Your hydrating serum, which uh -huh. you can use while you're healing too, because that just yeah. feeds into the little I love air. That. Lotion and then the face wash. Okay. Cool. Unless you've gotten something better. The newest mm -hmm. thing that I have that is great is the TNS Advanced Serum. It's human peptide. Oh no, I didn't have that one. It's kind of pricey, but I will tell you that actually it's I kind of just narrow down my skincare. Um, because so I the use water, that and not the night moisturizer? I would put it in its place. Okay. I'll because what it does is it's, it helps prevent sagging, which to me, trying to keep the skin healthy, the skin yeah. cells healthy, regenerating all the skin. Yeah. Um, it's the only one that we've, we've found out there that actually is proven to help with the sag. Greatest thing to do right after microneedling. And the other side has the peptide, so when you, you have to kind of go like this and it mm -hmm. comes out in this, mm -hmm. then you uh, kind of rub it together. Mm, and then put it on your face. And then you apply. Okay. Lord, I don't want to waste one drop oh, of it. It's just the best. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. Um, I'll be back. Okay. Lord knows we need as much of that sag, non sagging cream as possible. I know. She married a cougar. <laughs> All these thirsty, thirsty trap girls out there. Trap. 
<laughs> trap. What's a trap? I don't know. Trap in their thirst chamber. All right, let's bring on the fun part. Yeah, this is what girls do. <laughs> what girls do to look good for their husbands. This is the pain that girls go through. <laughs> Skin is pretty. You feel pretty. Yeah, you do. It's, it's and you do for yourself too. Mm -hmm. It's the confidence. If you're feeling good on your inside, you need your outside to kind of reflect. Exactly. You nervous? No, I'm in good hands. Thank I've you. done this before. Thank you. Yeah. She's pretty brave. She's Stephanie's the one. best. Thank you. I told her to be aggressive. <laughs> she so I did tell her before you <laughs> walked in. I was like, I was like, you can definitely be aggressive. So. Is it pretty much like getting a tattoo on your face? Do you know, it? I've heard it's, I, I don't think it's nearly as bad, but I think it's, you can put it in that same Yeah, category, actually it probably. is probably pretty similar. Yeah. I'm not so, saying getting ideas, but. I am not getting a tattoo on my face. Your face is entirely too beautiful. Buckles, I, feel I like know. Need to buckle me down. You get ready. Not bad, but okay. Oh, yeah, it's fine. So there's a lot of toothbrush to the skin. Yeah. <laughs> They're just kind of going in and out of her skin. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the spinning action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Out, yeah. So what I like to see when I do microneedling is this little pinpoint bleeding. It lets me know that I'm deep enough into the skin. She doesn't need to be bleeding to death, but I need to see a little bit of that to know that I've got the right depth. Yeah, this might be the most relaxed you've been all day. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is a busy day so far. Uh, I have a slight loss of work stuff going on. I'm actually, I actually am a little relaxed right now. That's good. I'm just going to come start seeing you more often. I'm not going to complain if you come back. You're not going to complain if I come back? Yep. <laughs> Wait till you, uh, see your bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, just give, give well, it another. Well, I can see why I don't come as often. Well, you know. <laughs> can you just, um, like, scrape that whole mole off for me. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about just getting it taken off? I did. Well, I went and got a, yeah, I went and got a, like a consultation. Yeah. A biopsy. What'd they say? And it was negative. Well, that's good. And then I forgot. Benign, which I would have probably told you. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I want to say they referred me, but I honestly, I just got so busy with work. I forgot what they said. They I mean, referred me either back here to, or no, to my, to the plastic surgeon. Mm-hmm. And then I don't remember what happened first, but yeah, I do want to get it removed. I just, I mean, does do you feel like it's growing all the time? No, it's just kind of okay, well, that's good. Yeah. Doesn't hurt me. Thank you. All right. I really want to get in that cluster and break a lot of this up. That doesn't look scary. No. Mm -hmm. It's a yes, I'm Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Because I feel like when I do mine, I feel like I have like a sunburn for a few hours mm -hmm. and then it kind of. The pain is worth it. We should see. <laughs> Did you feel that? Because I felt that. <laughs> I just stopped laughing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't feel any of that at all. That's good. Again, that melting cream gets about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. It usually makes it so minimal you can sit through it all. I do need to go up through here so you might feel a little bit of cheek though. Okay. See the little bit of blood, that's where we want to be. That's okay. good. I'm going to say we got a half, half, mm -hmm. right side, left side, right side, yeah. left side. So after I do that with the side, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get, you've got about five clogged pores and I'll try to push those little things okay. out for you so you can just heal all at one time. Okay. Oh my gosh, babe, guess what? Mm. I forgot to do my story record for Lemonade. Uh oh. Oh, with your face the way it is. Gotcha. I did do like a couple of interviews and had photos and but that makes me want to sneeze. I don't know how you're sitting with that. Doesn't make you want to go. No, it, it's pretty. Uh, no, okay. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah. No, a little tickles, but. All right. Let me get this little temple area. I can't believe I forgot to do the. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Alright. We'll be back. Alright. I am coming in nice and red. <laughs> Happy holidays, guys. I will uh, take a couple days. Dude, the bad thing about being... I don't even like calling myself an influencer, but I was supposed to do a story pose for like one of my new partners that I just like this is really bad I need to go get really big sunglasses and a hat and I don't know make it work Anyways. thank you Stephanie my face feels really tight like a sunburn and it's gonna probably start peeling <laughs>